Hi there, it's Bruce Wallace from Dundee and Victoria Chess Club in Bonnie, Scotland. And at last we've got a John Wallman win. Posted quite a few of his games, um, but so far only a draw has been shown. Uh, but on this occasion, John pulls off a nice win. And this was played in the Open section at the Open Chess Congress uh, this year. And John Williams rated about 16.65 and he was one of the lowest rated players in the Open tournament, but never, nevertheless finished with a credi creditable two points uh, in that competition. And here he's playing Lindsay McGregor, who's the highest, higher rated player with something like an 1800 rating. Um, so let's get on with the game. White kicked off with e4, then John played c5. And we're going to see a Sicilian dragon game here. Knight f3, d6, d4, c takes d, knight takes, knight f6, knight c3, g6, initiating the dragon, bishop e3, bishop g7, bishop e2, bishop d7, castles, castles, f4, knight c6. And here, um, king h1, although alternatives were a3. Um, and then queen a5 um, being a line but we'll go back after knight c6 it was king h1 common move in the Sicilian and here John played a queen c8 which is an unusual move um, normally um, black would play actively here with uh, queen a5 however after king h1 queen c8 then bishop f3 and then Rook d8, uh, although the assistant suggested here uh, knight a5 threatening to come to c4. However, after bishop f3, it was rook d8, uh, then queen e1. And now black has lost advantage, and uh, white has lost advantage, and black has equalized. Recommended here was queen e2. Um, rook b8, although uh, the analytical assistant um, suggests more active play here. Um, with knight g4 however rook b8 and John explained that what he intended to do here was just to shuffle his pieces about and to see what black did provided his position was solid then rook d1 bishop g4 and knight g4 also an option there going for the uh, e3 bishop queen h4 which was best move John gets rid of the white squared bishop knight takes Queen g4, also the strongest move. So rather than exchanging, uh, white goes to queen f2, and then b5. And this gives up the a pawn, but uh, the analytical assistant here doesn't recommend that, uh, that white should take in this position, and attacks the queen with h3. And John plays the queen to e6. Here, the analytical assistant recommended queen h5 but it looks like the, the queen doesn't have many squares but it can be active uh, horizontally in some lines uh, on the uh, on the, the, the d rank however um, if queen h5 bishop takes and then rook b7 is recommended however after attacking the queen with h3 john went to uh, uh, queen e6 and now knight g5 a bit simplistic attacking the queen and John placed the queen on c4 and onto an active post and now white took the pawn and in fact it's black who, who has the advantage here and recommended was uh, knight takes a7 however um, John played rook b7 and it's equal um, perhaps better taking the bishop there and placing the, uh, the white queen offside for, for a period um, bishop d4 and now that move does give um, black an advantage. John now attacked the knight with b4 and then queen e2. So John took the queens off and knight takes is forced and then knight takes bishop. So the g7 bishop potentially could become a monster in this game. Um, white's, white's strategy is normally to try and exchange off the dragon bishop. Knight takes and then h6 kicking the knight. e5. Now here, uh, one recommendation was knight h5, giving big advantage to black, th uh, threatening to come in on g3 for king, uh, king and rook. 
However, um, after e5, um, John exchanged the, the knight, uh, pawn took uh, knight, bishop takes f6, then f5, g takes f, knight takes f, and then king here. Rook here attacking the e7 pawn, king g6, g4, e6 hitting the knight. And here, white cracks. Um, rook takes pawn, and this costs a piece uh, because the pawn is attacking the knight, and the bishop is covering the rook on d8. So, pawn took, pawn took with check, um, king g7, rook c6, and white is basically a piece down, although he has. Uh, two pawns for that but black plays very ac accurately here um, to finish off white so we'll rapidly move through the game rook d2 uh, a good move this basically traps the king on the back rank rook e4 and now bishop snaffles one of the pawns on b2 rook g4 f6 supporting the pawn h4 and now a good move here um, strongest recommended move from the assistant rook e7 um, and this forces off uh, a pair of rooks um, pawn takes and then rook e1 check uh, so th the rook must come back uh, rook takes with check king takes and pawn takes and now black is massively ahead and it's just a matter of uh, fairly basic technique now for, for John to haul in the full point rook g6 check king f7 Rook takes g5, king f6, rook g4, bishop c3, and a4 takes au passant, and this a pawn will cost uh, white a piece in the game. Rook a4, uh, bishop b2, c4, bishop d4 check, king f1, a2, now supported by the rook, king e1, rook h2, c5 um, a1 queen check rook takes rook h1 check king moves and the rook's gone c6 and bishop b6 and black resigns and well done John Wellman um, patient play there um, against against white and an unusual Sicilian dragon but going all the way to uh, 50 moves but a win is a win and a very creditable one for John and I hope he wins many more games so I can post them on YouTube. See you soon.